Hello once again guys, this is Steve Losh, and this is going to pick up where the last screencast left off. And we're actually going to do some instrumentation now, finally. So, <coughs> what I'm going to do is, the first step to instrumenting your code is to decide what actually matters, right? We need to figure out what we need to measure, what's useful to measure, before we try to add some measurement, okay? So if we think, hmm... What would we want to measure about this site? Uh, the first thing that jumps out at me are the number of users. Um, it's a really simple count, but it'd be kind of nice to know how many users we have at a glance. So um, there's a bunch of different kinds of metrics that Coda's metrics library supports, <coughs> and we're going to use a gauge for this. A gauge is an instantaneous value of something at a given point in time, and it makes sense that the number of users is kind of the instantaneous value that we'd want. So let's do that. So what we're going to do uh, and this is, I've never done this before, so bear with me if it gets a little hairy. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create, ah, you know what, for this, just for simplici simplicity's sake, we're going to create the metric right in this server file, okay, so that it gets created every time we uh, use it here. So, uh, actually, I take that back. We're going to do it in the users file, because it's a, it's a measure of the number of users, so why don't we do it in the users file, the, the users uh, model. Okay, so this is our user model, and so what we're going to do is, after this, we're going to have some gauge uh, metrics. I'm going to have a metrics section. Oh, crap. I like to have little dividers because it makes it easier to read, but sometimes I do that. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is, um, is pull in the stuff from metrics closure that we need. So to do that, use metrics gauges. And all I really need is a gauge, I guess. Right? Yeah. Um, so the way you create gauges, <coughs> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a var just because. Um, we probably don't need to in this case, but for the rest of our metrics we will. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a var in this case. And so, the way metrics closure works is you create a metric, you need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one total users. Um, you can read the documentation to learn exactly what this stuff does, but for right now, I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to do that. Okay. And so gauges also need to know how to measure what they're supposed to look for. Right? So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to hop out of here. Um, another way that I usually work uh, is when I'm working on stuff, I don't usually just work right in the REPL here, in MacVim, um, or in a scratch buffer. Um, you can do it like that, but I found that almost all the time, whenever I do that, <clears throat> I wind up, you know, stopping for today, closing MacVim, which wipes out the REPL and the scratch buffer, and then the next day I'll come back and want to work on something that I was just working on before. <clears throat> so what I do is I always create a scratch that CLJ file right at the root of a project and just add it to hgignore um, and just use that as a scratch buffer. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Um, so what I want to do, this is basically going to become my REPL. So I'm going to use the use command and I always forget how to import stuff in Clojure, so I'm sorry if this takes a second. Um, so I'm going to make this. Okay, I'm also going to need the, uh, the Redis. There we go. And Closure, of course, uses different forms for whether you're in a namespace or not, which drives me insane, but oh well. Uh, so I'm going to do this. And now I'm going to evaluate both of these forms in the REPL. And remember, this REPL is running on the remote server, on the Vagrant VM. So I'm going to evaluate that. Get the Redis client, and um, where do you come from? It's been a while since I worked on this code. Aha, there we go. So I need to use the settings as well. Okay. And I'm just going to evaluate this right here. Um, this. Uh, local leader EE is my shortcut for evaluate current top level form. So I can be anywhere inside of a form, and I use leader EE 
and it'll it'll move to the top level form, which is the whole thing, right? And evaluate that. So it's just a handy little shortcut. And oh, look, once again, slim V errors. Huh. Like I said, held together with duct tape and hope. All right. So now we got the Redis client, right? Now I need to figure out how to use ALF's Redis client to get a list of keys, right? So to get the number of users that we have, I'm just going to count the number of keys in Redis because that seems like an easy way to do it. So um, let's see here. Think how you do this. This is part of the experimentation. Is um, I think it's like this. So you call the Redis client keys star. Right, that should get me a list of all the keys. Yes, okay. So that got me a list of all the keys in Redis, right? But I don't care about all of them. I only care about the ones replying, referring to users, right? So I'm going to say users star. And I can never type an asterisk. I'm a horrible typist, I'm sorry. Okay, um, but you'll see that we have um, we have both a shows key and a users key, right? Users, users, and then the email stores information about the user, and then users, the email colon shows store is a set of which shows they're watching. So really, I only care about one set of these keys, right? Um, so what I'm going to do is oh, look another error, uh -huh, is just uh, just use the shows ones, right? <coughs> Now the problem with this is that if someone signs up and doesn't add any shows, they're not going to appear. But in that case, I really don't care about them, right? They signed up and didn't do anything, and there's only one thing to do on the friggin' site, so, um, so I really don't care about them. So if I do that, I should be there. Okay, so now I should just be able to count this. All right, that's one. <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over a cold. Sorry about that. Hmm. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to take that block. I'm going to go down to the gauge, and that's how the gauge is going to uh, return its value, right? So if I evaluate this, right, it created a metric. Now we can't see it anywhere, but what we can do, um, so met metrics closure wraps the uh, built-in console reporter for metrics. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to say use, um, oh, what the hell, I'll just use the whole thing. Um, <coughs> just use metrics core and of course I need to quote that okay and metrics core has a report to console <coughs> and it takes a number of seconds that you want to wait in between each report basically what this will do is just dump every metric to the screen uh, to standard error every x seconds so we're going to use I don't know 4 seconds that sounds good Excuse me, sorry. So that looks good, but where are our metrics? They're not showing up. Why? What's going on? And the trick is that that runs in a separate thread so that it doesn't block your REPL, you know, you want to still be able to use it. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it turns out that it's actually going to show up over here in our uh, line swipe process in the terminal. And so you can see, <coughs> uh-oh, oh. oh. That should be total users. Sorry, that one's my fault. Oh, got in there. Oh. <coughs> now, what I need to do is, hmm. Sorry about this. One second. Like I said, a lot of this is going to be me looking up documentation, including for things that I've written. <coughs> okay, it's remove metric. So real quick, I'm gonna remove this metric. Total is a really crappy name for that. All right, and if we look, we should see, yep, so now we're getting nothing output. Okay, and I'm gonna evaluate this again. Oh crap, it's in the wrong, oh whatever. It should still work. Yes, okay. So now we have a total users metric, right? Right now there's one. But if we go back and we log out, <coughs> and we make another user, <coughs> we 
right. So remember how I said that it's not going to find, it's not going to keep track of the user until they actually add a show, right? So let's add a show to this user. And now, next print, you get two. All right. So in the next screencast, I'll show you a little bit more about how to, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, read those uh, metrics in an easier way. All right. Thanks, guys.